Hello everyone! Welcome sa ating unang solve problem sa solution ng isang differential equation using separation of variables. We have to obtain the general solution for the differential equation dy over dx is equal to 1 plus y squared. First, kailangan muna natin i-confirm kung yung d iba natin ay separable. Kailangan natin maisama lahat ng function of x kay dx at lahat ng function of y kay dy. So to do that, since si dx natin ay nasa denominator, i-multiply natin siya dito sa buong equation. Kaso, pag minultiply natin siya, this will become 1 plus y squared times dx. Function of y to, and then that is dx. Kaya kailangan din natin ihiwalay si 1 plus y squared. Doing that, we multiply yung dx dito para mawala sa left side, and then yung 1 over y squared dito naman sa ating right side para Ito ay maging function of y, dito naman ay maging function of x. So this part, mawawala na si dx dito, so it will become dy, and then mapupunta ngayon si 1 plus y squared. On our right side, mawawala ngayon yung 1 plus y squared, ang mangyayari, ang natira na lang ay si dx. Now to check, this is 1 plus y squared times dy, this is a function of y times dy, this is already good. Sa ating right side naman, dx, this is a function of x kasi ang kasama na lang naman nito ay constant na 1 so 1 times dx so we can confirm that our differential equation is separable to get its solution kunin natin yung integral dun sa buong equation doing that integral nung dy over 1 plus y squared is equal to integral of dx to solve this kailangan nating balikan yung ilang konsepto natin ng integral dapat medyo matibay na yun Kasi this subject, differential equation, kailangan tapos na tayo ng differential calculus at integral calculus. Kasi gagamitin natin yung mga konsepto doon dito sa subject na to. So kapag ka medyo may nakalimutan, we have to recall. etong part na to, this is antiderivative integral and then this is dx. So kaya na natin isolve. Ang problema, etong nasa left side. Hindi agad siya masasolve directly. If we will be letting itong bottom part be u, kailangan natin ng 2y dun sa numerator. Kung naiisip nyo na dalhin to to ln. Pero hindi siya applicable. Now we have to look for other ways. If nakita nyo agad na yung form nito ay merong kamuka sa integration ng inverse trigonometric function, then makukuha agad natin to. Because this form, kaya natin siyang masolve using our arctan. The integral of du, kasi eto ay dalawang square, so this is also 1 squared, so this is dy, 1 plus y squared, we can solve it using our arctan. Integral of du all over a squared plus u squared is equal to 1 over a arctan of u over a plus c. Integral leading to inverse trigonometric functions. Ngayon, ano yung a natin? So this is a squared, so 1. Gawin muna natin siya in the form of a squared. So this is dy, 1 squared, pareho lang naman siya ng 1. So our a is 1. And then, our u is y. Now, we apply this formula. So, we have 1 over a. Ang a natin again is 1. So, that is just 1. Kaya, ito ay naging arctan lang. Diretso. Kasi 1 over 1 is just 1. 1 times arctan. And then, ang u natin, again, that is y. So, y over a. Ang a is 1. So, y over 1. Ang natira lang ay si y. And that's it for our left side of our equation. Integral of dy all over 1 squared plus y squared is equal to arctan of y. And then sa ating right side, integral of dx is just x. Huwag kalimutan si plus c. This can be your final answer. Pero kung gusto pa natin siyang isimplify, na masasolve natin siya in terms of y, kung kaya naman, gawin natin. Ito, arctan of y, para matera na lang si y, let us get the tangent ng both sides ng ating equation. So this becomes y, kasi kinuha natin yung tangent dito, is equal to tangent x plus c. So this is our final answer.